but you can't look past the fact that over and over again, Trump has been making fun of Joe Biden for wearing a mask. I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. He walks onto the stage wearing this massive mask. There's nobody on the stage. He's got the largest mask I think I've ever seen. There's no reason for him to have masks on. He comes up with a mask. He's like 100 yards from the nearest human being. He's got a mask. I've never seen a man that liked a mask. Joe feels very safe in a mask. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to expose his face. Did you ever see a man that likes a mask as much as him? What the hell did he spend all that money on the plastic surgery if he's going to cover it up with a mask? Ha, ha, and ha. So here's the thing. Masks protect us from the coronavirus. They protect us from getting it and spreading it. That's a fact. If everyone wore a mask, we might not have any of this anymore. We would definitely have less of this. But this president doesn't think they look good. And so now he has the virus and his wife has it. And every staffer who may have come into contact with the president is at risk. Basically, the White House is now like a summer camp with lice. And there are a lot of COVID dots to connect. Here's Trump with his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, very close to his face. Spent a lot of time with his nominee for the Supreme Court, Amy Coney Barrett, who went for a stroll with the vice poodle, Mike Pence. They were both with Mitch McConnell on Tuesday, which was the same day his family at the debate, they took off their masks, which is against the rules. And when a doctor from the Cleveland Clinic who was overseeing it went over and asked them to put their masks on, they all ignored her. Hope Hicks, who is like patient zero now, was at the debate. She traveled to Minnesota with Trump on Wednesday. There she is with a number of staffers, no masks or distancing, really. Hope was also clapping along a, a rally in Pennsylvania Saturday, again with no mask. So after he found out that Hope Hicks had tested positive, the president flew to New Jersey to attend a fundraiser indoors where he came in contact with around 100 donors. He knew someone in his inner circle had COVID. He wasn't feeling well. He still had a round table with support. I don't know about you, but I would ask for my money back at that particular fundraiser. And it wasn't just the executive branch that got hit. There were more positive results at the White House today on Capitol Hill. Senator Mike Lee of Utah tested positive. Fuck. There he is, um, giving out hugs on the White House lawn Saturday. Mike Lee is what they call a stupor spreader. And um, <laughs> Vice President Mike Pence tested negative. This is a weird thing. When the Trumps got home after testing positive, Mike and Karen Pence were in their bed. <laughs> Pence tweeted, Karen, I send our love and prayers to our dear friends, President, blah, 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 blah. We wish you sweet. God bless you all. Pence is planning to make a longer statement uh, to the press as soon as he can stop whistling zippity doo dah. So Mike Pence, of course, is the head of the COVID task force. So he's in trouble. I mean, as soon as Trump's back on his feet, somebody's getting a swirly in the Lincoln commode. And this is interesting. Team Trump reportedly didn't give the Biden campaign a heads up that they may have been exposed. Joe Biden tested negative, but really that doesn't mean anything because the virus has to be in you for a few days before you can even get a positive result. Trump was like, you know, 12 feet away screaming at him on Tuesday. And so that debate may have been an even bigger disaster than we thought. And we hope the president will be okay. Uh, before he left for the hospital, he made a video to assure us that he will be okay.